Okay, so this video is this. This practice is a waking up sort of practice. Um, the idea is looking for that sort of feeling when you wake up out of bed and you're like, ooh, and that's, you have that massage stretching. The idea here is to look for a luxurious feeling, a pleasure feeling, a massage feeling. Um, it's a practice to invite awakeness, invite movement into your body rather than forcing. So starting with the face, starting with your face and my face, noticing, can you like scrunch your nose and your cheeks? Like when you yawn. And that luxurious kind of stretching. And you might bring your own hands in for tapping or knocking, slapping, like, you know, tissue mushing. All that's welcome. Vocal and body movement are welcome. The breath is welcome. Nothing's forced, it's all allowed. So coming back to this face stretching. Where you stretch the skin between your eyes and your forehead skin. And your nose. And your cheeks inside of your mouth. And your ears. And your neck. Muscles. And the tissue inside of your throat. And Hildy the dog might come in the video. And can you, this is a kind of funny one, can you stretch your inside of your skull? Can you stretch your like brain tissue? Maybe, maybe not. Stretching the skin on your scalp. Using the air to help massage the tissue inside of your throat. Coming into your sternum, front chest area. And playing with this, um, including your skull. Like if I put my hand in front of me and I move my sternum towards my hand or I move my sternum away from my hand. Or I might bring a hand to the side and move my sternum to one side and the other. Noticing if you move in these kind of like front, back, side, diagonal, you can get weird with it. What brings forth this luxurious massage feeling? Bringing it into each shoulder joint, each of those ball bearings have you. Move one arm to the, get different parts of the armpit and the shoulder. And then maybe you invite self-touch or maybe you just invite the luxury of sensation through movement. Either way. <laughs> You're massaging all the parts that make sound. <laughs> to me, maybe it's fun. <laughs> be any old way, just going towards this like, oh, that feels nice, that feels waking up, that feels massage-esque towards waking up. And yours might involve a lot of shaking or wiggling, or um, letting your arm, using the gravity, the physics of your arm to make pen pendulums. You're not really doing any work, you're just letting your body swing around. However you're doing it, again, just going for this feeling of waking up.
And if you're in some areas and your body's feeling really stiff, your body doesn't need to look anything like mine. It can be really small movements. As long as you're getting that feeling of waking up. Stretch, luxury, massage. Maybe you're sitting or lying down. Playing with your spine, noticing all the tissue that connects to the bones in there. How do you stretch the front part of your spine and the back part of your spine and the sides of your spine? How do you stretch your guts and your lungs and your heart? Again, not like um, a traditional like prepare for workout stretch, but like luxury. Like how do you wake up, wake up kind of stretch where it's just like, ugh, it feels so nice to move like that. Going for that feeling. <sighs> Bringing it into your hips, each hip socket. What sort of movement feels really luxurious and waking up you in this moment? One hip and then the other hip. Different parts of your fronts and backs and sides of your thighs. Everything's allowed as long as it's towards this waking up alive feeling. I'm in a similar way um, as doing a body scan, I'm kind of going from up to down. You can go in any, any direction. I just uh, using the direction to help myself um, not miss parts of my body. So I'm noticing different things in my pelvic, hip, back zone. You notice things along the way, some parts of your body start, you know, speaking out a little louder. And just continuing this um, whole body wake up, giving it all the parts, everybody like a chance to like, ooh, good morning, ugh. Coming into the, each knee. Noticing that you have a front, back, and sides of your knee and an inside tissue, tissue in the center of your knees. Maybe you stay longer in one area than I do. Modifying as it fits you. And then I'm coming into the shins and calves. And here I'm really like playing going on my toes and heels. Um, but keeping the focus on my shins and calves is like, oh, when I move this way, then I feel that like, oh yeah, massage movement feel in this part of my shin or this part of my calf and then moving that um, focus of bringing luxury to each ankle and again I might move in any old way but I'm focusing my attention on each ankle bringing that massage luxury uh, into each one and then into the tops of my feet. Into each toe, using my body weight to pour into each foot in different areas of the foot. Like you lean in and I'm giving a massage, you really like push in in some areas. Using my own body weight to like really lean in to massage the balls of my feet and my toes, each toe, 
in the sides of my feet and my heels. And I'm playing just a little bit. Um, I really like uh, coming into this real easygoing bounce. So you can come up onto your toes and then just drop and feel that reverberation. And you can come up just a little bit, just a few centimeters, and drop again. And notice, is it nice to have a big drop or a small drop? Does one invite a wake up feeling or how high is um, good for you? Or just sort of like, um, like when a dog, or when your, your own leg or a dog's leg just starts kind of shaking, inviting that sort of shaking bounce And you can do that so that your heels bounce up off the ground or they just stay on the ground. Just playing around with different stuff. No need to like learn one specific technique at this time. Just looking for that wake up luxury, nice feelings. 